Right, so as you may or may not know, Nintendo has announced a new Nintendo Switch. It's called the Nintendo Switch Lite. We're going to go through the key differences, the key upgrades, just the key points. But I think I'm going to call this video the No Switch Switch. The No Switch Nintendo Switch. Let's go over the key upgrades. The key upgrades, this ain't going to take me long because there isn't any. There's no upgrades. There's zero, zero upgrades. They are going to go on a little bit about, it's got a better battery life. It hasn't got a better battery life. It, on paper it has. But look what it's even saying on paper. It's about half hour difference. About half hour. Half hour classes, no upgrade to battery. You can't say it's got a better battery, but when you look into the, even on paper, when you look into it, it's 30 minutes. They don't even class it as 30 minutes. It's like 0.5. That don't really class as an upgrade. That does not class as an upgrade. If you bought a new phone and they said, what's the difference between this one? It's got a 30 minute better battery life. You're being laughed out of the shop or you're laughing the shop out of the store or whatever you want to call it. So there's not really an upgrade. Let's go over the key differences now. Now we've got the upgrade part out of the way. And I'm not hating on Nintendo. Because you can see it. I have a Nintendo Switch. I had all the other Nintendos. Even the GameCube. And no one had the GameCube. Not even the head of Nintendo had the GameCube. I had the GameCube. I just want to get this. No hating against Nintendo. I just think it's a pointless upgrade. It's a pointless new system they're bringing out. And we're going to go over the little key features. And I'll explain why I think it's I think it's pointless. It's it's I can't see a reason at all. But let's get into it. And it's no switch. So starting straight away, you cannot use a Nintendo Switch Lite to switch. So let's say this is the Nintendo Switch Lite. You play it like that. That's it. You can't plug it into a telly. It has zero TV support. That is zero TV support. So you cannot even attach a cable and plug it into the TV. There's no support for TV. There's no support for playing it in the other switch mode where you flick this bit off and you hold your little control pads like that. You can use other control pads with it. These little things, you can buy these separate. You can buy these separate and you can use it with the Nintendo Switch Lite. However, if you've just bought it and you haven't got one of these, you ain't gonna be able to charge this. They even say on the literature, you ain't gonna be able to charge this. You've got to either buy an extra little controller thing that slits down the middle, or you need to charge it with this, because that's charges by that. So you need an external charger as well. So you can't just buy these little control pads, Joy-Cons, I think they're called or something. You can't just buy them, because you need something to charge them up. These don't have their own charging thing. You can't plug these into anything. So that's also a bit pointless. So you've got the Nintendo Switch Lite, there is a few differences in the different side. It comes in a different couple of colours. There's a yellow one. There's a blue one, I think. I don't know. There's a couple of different colours. That is about it. It is a bit smaller. And by a bit smaller, it's not much. It's not much. They're going on about, oh yeah, look how much smaller it is. It's not that much smaller. I think this is... the the On the screen, you're seeing the exact things. But I'm trying to remember it because I was just literally reading it upstairs. And I come down and thought, I'd do a quick video on that. It's a little bit smaller. It's a little bit lighter. And always when they're saying the lightness and the smallness, that they're saying without the thing bobs attached. So they've even put it on there. The battery life, like I said, is not much better. Zero TV support. There's no rumble and no IR motion. So you can do these like motion control with this. Driving and all this. And this is like, like a motion thing. It's got none of that. It's got no rumble support at all. Everyone loves rumble when you're playing any sort of game. You get a little bit of feedback on the rumble. We've had it for years. Do you remember when the PlayStation... I can't remember if it was the PlayStation 2 or 3 come out and the control pads, when they was first out, they didn't have rumble. People didn't want to know. People did not want to know and Sony had to go back to it and implement the rumble back into it. People didn't want to know. When rumble was... When you've got rumble... You don't even know you've got it. But when it's taken away, you know you had it. So you're going to be... with the rumble? You can even get vibration rumble on your mobile phone. They're not having it. There's no rumble support whatsoever. Um, the size, the weight, the battery. That's really it. That's, the, that's it. 
the only what it is it's a handheld device that's a be about this i reckon it'll be let's take this thing off again about that size so it's gonna be that size the screen will be a little bit smaller it's gonna be that size and you're gonna be just playing it like that that's all you can do with it it's just playing it like that also some games ain't supported it's, it even says some games will not be supported unless you go out and buy some extra control pads and a charger for these control pads the thing with this nintendo switch and what makes it so popular i believe is the sitting on the tv sitting on the sofa this plugged in and you've got about four or five of these eight of these or whatever you want six of these and you're all sitting there you're all playing your mario kart on the screen and you're all playing it you're all having fun that's i think what made this so popular and also some of the games because zelda is zelda and mario and that are really good on this you ain't going to be able to do that it's a little solo one you're going to be playing like this sitting in your bedroom going like this and then you're going to go oh oh you want to play it on the tv you can't you want to play with your mates you can't really you want to play it online you can probably play it online i don't know about the online but i didn't see anything written about the online so price it's 100 dollars cheaper that's probably going to translate if you're english into 100 pound or if you're in europe 100 euros so it's a hundred dollar pound euro difference i don't think that's good value for money this is listed as 299 dollars i don't know the euro probably i don't know the europe and the pound price 299 dollars it's not too bad in my opinion a little expensive it should be about 250 250 i think is where the money is with this 250 the smaller one 200 but you can do a lot less so it's 200 you're only saving 100 and you're losing out on a lot of features you ain't gaining anything you're gaining absolutely zero they are, are going to go on about yeah but that battery life it's it's hardly any difference in the battery life it's really not worth even in their tests and this is laboratory tests they're saying playing zelda this will last three hours if you just like that zelda's three hours on the little one zelda's four hours no it ain't that zelda's going to be three and a half hours probably on both of these well, this is pulling me to an eye. It's, it's, there's not going to be enough difference. If the battery was double or even triple this, you can say, right, now it's got a decent battery in. We're now only giving you a half hour to a little, maybe a little bit more, 45 minutes extra battery. No, thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Nintendo, I think your intentions are good. Your intentions are good with it. But I think you've missed it a little bit. You've just missed it. I know it's going to sell millions. It's going to sell absolutely trillions of them absolute everyone's getting one everyone look for christmas here you go nintendo like did the kid whoever gets it whoever receives i was going to say the kid but anyone could receive it whoever receives it's going to go ah look at this brilliant after a few days they're going to say what it's called the switch what, what what am i switching it to you switch it to absolutely nothing it's like having a transformer that don't transform intentions good i think the execution no nintendo you've definitely missed the mark in my honest opinion this is a decent little computer system you could have done so much more with the lighter one there's so much you could have done with all your r d and all this you did loads you could have done nintendo you've decided just to half ass it you've half asked it that's just my quick look I ain't a look because i ain't got one and now i'll probably never get sponsored by nintendo i've ruined that one Microsoft, PlayStation, Sony, you listening? Open for sponsorships. Remember to subscribe to the Adam Vell YouTube channel for more honest reviews of products we don't even have. I did get all my sources and facts from Nintendo's official website now. Put in the comments as well, if you think I've missed something, if you think, hold on, you've missed something, it comes in a dark green colour. Put it in the comments. If I've missed something, I've missed something. Like I say, I'm not hating on Nintendo. I've got one here and I'll most probably get the Switch too. I'll, I ain't buying the light one though. And like I said, I'm one of the four people that had the GameCube. It's four people that sold. In the UK, that sold to four people. Four people bought it. I was one of them. I ain't got it no more. I sold it to the third bloke. The third bloke that bought it, he wanted two of them. So I had it for about two years. And he says, look, I'll give you 10p for it. And I, I sold it. So 